Hey Virgos, I'm back y'all with another video. So let's see what the energy is for the month of December. All right, so if you have a Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, Jupiter, you can utilize this video, okay? So give me an energy for Virgo, please. Give me Virgo's energy. Show me Virgo's energy. Flexing. Y'all flexing on somebody basic. You like, yeah, mm, they ain't doing nothing. They basic. I'm over here flexing. Or it could be vice versa. You could feel like somebody's flexing on you. Okay, so let's just be real. All right. Give me another card, please. Oh, oh. All right, yeah. So it's, this is about somebody's point of view. Like, this could be someone... Um, trying a different approach, trying to change your outlook, opinions, point of view, perspective, okay? So this could be like somebody's, you might feel like somebody trying to flex on you or you trying to flex on somebody because of their point of view or they're trying to do this to you, all right? So you could be ready to put somebody on blast, all right? We got put on blast, being publicly embarrassed, personal business exposed, exposing secrets called out. You want to call somebody out for being a simp. <laughs> you want to call somebody out for being a simp. We got a simp here. Um, a fool, begging, groveling, will do anything to win you over. Nice guy, nice girl syndrome. So this is kind of giving like simp energy. You see what it says? Say simp. So maybe you want to put somebody on, out on blast because you feel like they're being a simp. All right. So let's let's see what's going on. Let's look into it. And see, I'm going to leave these cards to the side because I might have to go back to them. So, let's see. We're going to jump straight into the tarot. Well, before we go into the tarot, let's, let's do the love oracle. Let's do love oracle. Let's see. Give me a message for Virgos. Give me a message for Virgo, please. Thank you. Yeah, we got flirt. Okay. So somebody's flirting with somebody. And because this is something that you're paying, to, paying attention to. This could be somebody that you have been intimate with. That you're intimate with. But you have been noticing that they possibly have been doing some flirting on the side. I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out there. That's how I was looking. All right, so we're going to leave that right there. You want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person because you feel like you deserve better. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to put this to the side over here with these. Now we're going to jump into the tarot. Let's see what the tarot got to say. Any message for Virgos, please? Me a message for Virgo. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> that jumped right out. Six of Swords. Yeah, it's like you feel burdened by something. Something is stressing you out, or as you feel like it's too much to handle. You found out the truth that somebody's been telling lies. Now we got the Hermit. This could be a Virgo or this is you finding out you i feel like some of y'all even went looking for the truth because we got the hermit and the ace of swords this is going within and finding out the truth some of you like literally used your intuition you just know that this person isn't being honest but some of y'all actually went through somebody's phone then look for the truth okay it's it's insane like this is not the first time it's not the first time that this person did this either cheated or broke your heart this is something that's ongoing with the four of pentacles here and you keep having regrets about this situation now the queen of wands is here this could be a fire sign leo sagittarius aries or this is just another person this is like an ongoing thing king of cups pisces cancer scorpio like you and your feelings about this some of y'all feel like y'all should move on all right. Yeah, some of y'all want to move on from this connection. Two of Cups. It's a lot of back and forth that you're getting tired of. 
you're feeling alone or rejected feel like you're missing out on something better yep we got the nine of swords you're trying to get oh, some of y'all okay see so yeah we got the three of swords here so some of y'all are trying to get past this feeling of anxiety like feeling of of this is the anxiety card feeling of being stressed out worried anxious six of swords is saying like you know what moving past that But we'll look into it when I clarify. Now, the King of Pentacles is here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. But you may think somebody's selfish, that they only think about themselves. This is past energy. And this could have something to do about this point of view. You don't, you don't like this person's point of view. And you decide to put them on blast. They could feel like you're trying to flex on them. All right, so tell me what's coming ahead for the future for Virgo. Give me some future energy, please. Ooh. Y'all, that just jumped out my hand and like flew on the floor. <laughs> we got the world. It's the world card, but I don't like picking the, I don't like using the cards that fall on the floor like that. But I'm going to tell y'all what it is. It's the world. So some of y'all may be closing chapters. Maybe some of y'all are saying that y'all are done. This is too much. Tell me future energy. For Virgo, please. Future energy for Virgo. Okay. The Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Emperor. Page of Swords. See, some of y'all been spying on this person. This could be a baby father with the Emperor here. This could be somebody that's older than you. It's just somebody who is like a boss like they have their own business or they're doing their own thing. They could be very popular. So you keeping your eye on this person. You watching everything that they do. And it's like, yeah, you think you slick, but I, I I got you. I see you. Show me Virgo's energy. Y'all cars keep flying on the floor. The Empress. It's the Empress, but I told y'all, I don't like reading cards when it fall on the floor. But y'all messages are urgent because of how they're flying out. Now, and then we got the Hermit right here. So some of y'all could be pregnant or find out that you're pregnant. Um, just putting that out there. Or this is between a baby mother and a baby father, husband, wife. We got the Page of Pentacles. Okay. Show me their energy. Yeah, their energy is a seven of swords. Like, they sneaky. And there's that emperor in a page of swords. And I told you, somebody, you you look through their phone and you found out something. If you haven't, some of y'all may be getting ready to do that. And you didn't find out that this person just sneaky and a liar and just be moving funny. Now, your hopes and fears, give me a message for Virgo, please. For the hopes and fears. The Knight of Cups. See, you're hoping that this person apologizes or shows show you some type of sympathy or show you some type of of something. Care. Appreciation. Let's see what this outcome is. I'm getting, I'm hearing um, that song, Sunshine Anderson. See, I heard it all before. I'm just getting like, that's the energy. Come on, baby. It seems you barely beat the sun. Tapping my shoulder. Thinking you gonna get you some. Smelling like some fragrance that I don't even wear. So if you want some loving, I suggest you go back there where you came from. Come on now. I know that's an old song, but if y'all look up Sunshine Anderson, heard it all before. 
and listen to the lyrics. Give me the outcome to this. Give me the outcome. The Nine of Cups. All right, so Nine of Cups is the outcome, and the Tower, and the Ten of Swords. You may want to surprise this person, like, with a big, but you, listen, the Tower and the Ten of Swords is something, like, it's not a, a peaceful ending. This is something that blows all the way out of proportion, and then it ends. Okay, so you're trying to give this person some time. Um, to let them know that you're getting ready to walk the hell out. <laughs> you're not happy at all with the Four of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Like, yeah, you're ready to go. You're ready to go. You're ready to go. I feel like some of y'all are, are, you're at the end of the rope. And that's why I seen that Ten of Wands. That Ten of Wands normally shows that. Like, somebody being at the end of the rope. Like, it's a, to the point to where, you know what, it ain't even worth no more. Tell me how the Six of Swords is here. The tower like i said some of y'all be dealing with the scorpio but it's like all of a sudden like it's something this could be a random a random situation like it happens out of the blue could be a capricorn but you was waiting to see you was being patient this person could have like some type of addiction or this person could be codependent but you was kind of trying to be patient with them and wait it out and wait to see if they were going to fix it or how they were going to fix it. Because you do want, I feel like this is somebody that you care about. You do want the connection. But it's a, it's a, some arguments, some, some disagreements going on. Yeah, see, there's a lot of back and forth. Like, somebody pops up. There could be a pop-up. Somebody could be pulling a pop-up. Are the King of Cups here? Yeah, see, you feel like this need to stop. So somebody's pulling pop-ups. You feel like, look, this need to, this need to end. This needs to end now. Oh goodness, why the nine of swords here? Ooh, somebody's this pissing you off. Okay, now with the magician and the nine of swords, this is making a situation worse. So this person is not only coming back and forth, doing, moving how they want to move, but they're making the situation worse by doing that. So you could be feeling like, look, this needs to come to an end. This person doing this because they feel like they can and they feel like they got time to. They they got it like that. Why is the king of pentacles here? Ace of wands. This person could be um, the Temperance. They could be a Sagittarius or Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But it's like somebody saying the first time. Okay, I'm hearing the first time. I'm hearing it. Literally, somebody saying, look, I let that slide the first time, but we're not going to do that again type of energy. Yeah, because it, it keeps happening. So you let something slide the first time. That's what the, that's what this is. You may have let some, something slide one time and they over here ice skating. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? I see you hoping that this person puts in some effort, but I'm going to be real with you. With the Five of Pentacles, they're doing the bare minimum. You, you could be hoping that effort is going to be put in. Look at this. Could be an Aquarius. You could be hoping that this person is going to put in the effort and going to do the right thing. But with that Five of Pentacles here, this person is just a bare minimum person. They're just a bare minimum person. Like... I'm getting, I'm hearing excuses. They think that a female is supposed to do certain stuff. Like, they have that type of energy. Like, oh, no, a female is supposed to do that. The woman's supposed to do that. I ain't doing it. Why is the page of pentacles here? Page of pentacles and the knight of pentacles. So, Possibly, like, when you do get something from this person, they drag their feet. Like, when you ask this person to do things or you come to this person about something, they move slow. 
they move slow. And then when they do give you something, it's not nothing that's, you know, it's something small. It's a small offer. But you do, I feel like it's not nothing that you may need. You just want to see what they're going to say. You want to see what they're going to say. See what they're going to do, how they're going to move. Yep, you, I feel it. Like you feel like you have to wait when you ask this person to do stuff for you. But this is the thing about it. You love this person. We got the lovers and the emperor. You love this man. You love this woman. And I feel like y'all done been through the mud with the ten of wands. Y'all done been through it. This is a struggle. This is like somebody is way over. Something is way, way, way over. Like past due. Tell me more about their energy. They're over here in the Seven of Swords energy. There's this person got a third party going on. Seven of Swords and Three of Swords. They got a third party. Yep, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, Three of Swords, Seven of Swords. Everything shows. They got somebody else. They got something going on on the side. And the devil here. Okay. They don't want you to know about this. But they definitely do. They got something going on on the side. Now, the Knight of Cups is here. Like you, you may be feeling tired of feeling like you always have to stand up for yourself, always having to explain yourself in a situation. Every time, like when you bring something up, if you ask for something, um, you just feel like this person is making you be the queen of swords energy. And we know she's a no nonsense type of energy. Like she's kind of hard to like deal with if you don't know, if you don't, you know, don't get to know her. And know why she's the, that way. Now, the Nine of Cups is the outcome. Yeah, see, you want to be a family. This is what you want. This is your desire. You want the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. You want everything. The Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. The Ten of Cups is a wish fulfillment. You want to be in a, a happy relationship. Like, you want this to be, you know, you want it to be what it's supposed to be. Um, you know, like how you envisioned it in your mind. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. But let me tell you something. With that Five of Swords, there's a lot of petty energy going on. It's a lot of disagreements, insecurities, jealousy. Yep, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? I'm about to cut this reading off. Five of Wands and the Five of Swords. This is a lot of a lot going on. A lot of disagreements, arguments. Just it's a lot going on. And this is Spirit saying, look, this could be the outcome with the Four of Cups. Disappointment. Okay. I'm going to pull a few more cards. I'm going to just see what their intentions are. But I already see what their intentions are with this right here. With these three cards right here. Seven of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. They got other things going on. So that's what it is. You don't like their point of view. Their point of view is not where it's supposed to be. Show me their intentions towards my Virgos. Heart with the key. Welcome in love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. Okay, so this person's intentions is to make things look perfect. Make things look like it's all good. But we got ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for a union. So this person intentions is it looks like they want to take things to the next level with you. 
And then we got a dragonfly. This person is just free hearted. This person is just like free, like a like a butterfly. Things coming to the light, adapt, changing, and healing. Tell me more. Wedding rings. Some of y'all, some of y'all might get married to this person. Some of y'all might go ahead and marry this person. And ooh. Y'all just make sure that that's what y'all want. Cause girl with the snake. Spirit say you need to set some boundaries. You gotta set some boundaries. Okay, because some of y'all are thinking about marrying this person. This person could be like, yeah, I want to marry her one day. But this person is really like free spirit, okay? It looks like this person, like, intentions are to, like, open up. They want to be be with you. Um, They are preparing for some type of union. But like I said, this person is re real free spirited. And spirit is saying you, got, you need to set some boundaries. All right, so that's the message that I got from my Virgos. If this message resonated with you, be sure to hit the like button. Um, share with your family and your friends. Subscribe if you are new. If you're interested in booking a personal, all of my information to how, on how to contact me via email is going to be in the drop box below. As well as check out my website, guys, www.EmpressEmpireOils.com. All of that is in the drop box below, okay? I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.